counted a joy. Because when you don't leave the situations that are bringing pressure too early, I'm fortifying you. And when I'm fortifying you, I'm making you so strong that the enemy, you will be able to not just avoid the enemy, but you're going to resist the enemy. Because as believers, our job isn't to avoid the enemy. It isn't to avoid these situations. It's to have dominion and power and authority over those situations. It doesn't say look at that mountain and walk around it. Know where to look at the mountain and what? Say, be removed and be cast into the sea. See, that as a church that's fortified, that is what we are to do. We're not to go like, oh, that, that's kind of big. Well, I'm just going to take this long. No, we're supposed to speak to it. We're to have dominion and authority. God, right? When he created Adam, he says, I've given you all dominion over the earth, over all of the living creatures. That's what he's given to us. But as believers, sometimes we like to walk around the situation because we just haven't resolved who we're going to believe. See, we're busy deciding, well, I know I can't do this, so it must not be for me. Well, I know I don't have time, so it must be for someone else. Well, I know I don't have the resources, so it must be for someone else. Nope, when we read in the Word of God, right, it says, um, I think in Matthew, like, what good is it if you love people who are unlovable or forgive people who, you're, who are good to you? Nope, the, the, the actual work happens when we love the unlovable, when we're inconvenient. That's when the work of the believer and the life of Christ is fortified, not when it's easy.